Today I am reviewing two extremely intriguing scents, 22 and 33 of Chrome Hearts. Uh, initially, one thing I did notice is that the bottle, the top kind of sits like not, not right, but otherwise. Okay, Harry, my mascot is about to show up. Just don't get in the way. Move along, move along, please. Move along. Okay, anyway. Um, I wonder what... I don't know why they added a rhodium-plated coat on top of sterling silver. I don't think that was necessary. What do you think, Harry? Um, anyway. Their fragrance smells much better on your skin. Um, what do you think? Not sure about that one. You know what I think? I think Lori Lynn Stark said, I want this to smell like joy, leather, maybe sex, and then something else. I don't know. But I smell joy in this perfume. I smell leather. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It actually smells better on my skin. So this is number 33. I paid a fortune for it, but I needed to know what the Chrome Heart scent was. What is that? Okay, obviously when I do this, it doesn't work. There is something floating. Do you see that? Where's the camera? What the fuck is that? And why is it floating in my bottle? I have... Whew, okay. Well, that's not cool. I'd be mortified if I had something floating in mine. Where is it now? Where'd it go? I could have sworn... Oh, yeah, it's still there. There it is. What the fuck is that? Do you see that? There's something floating in this bottle. <laughs> okay, that is not acceptable. I don't know what that is, but somebody who's making these in France better be on their game, because that's not good. Okay, anyway. I like this one a lot. It's different. Like I said before, my first impression was it it made me move sideways. It was like, what? <laughs> sideways is a good thing. It's like unexpected. They say jasmine and bergamot. I'm not smelling jasmine and bergamot. I don't know what I'm picking up. It's good. Right, Harry? He's looking at me like he's behind the camera. I don't know. It's sweet. I don't know what it is. 